This next song we're going to dedicate to a great American organization. Tonight I'd like to dedicate this to our boys in the FBI. Well, so wait a minute, it's hard to be an FBI man. I mean, first of all, to be an FBI man, you have to be over 40 years old. And the reason is that it takes at least 25 years with the organization to be that much of a bastard. <laughs> well, well, it's true, you just can't join. You know, it kind of, it needs an atmosphere where your natural bastardness can grow and develop and take a meaningful shape in today's complex society. <laughs> but that's not why I want to dedicate the song to the FBI. I mean, the job that they have to do is a drag. I mean, they have to follow people around. You know, that's part of their job. Follow me around. I'm out on the highway and I'm driving down the road and I run out of gasoline. I pull over to the side of the road. They got to pull over too, make believe that they ran out. <laughs> you know? I go to get some gasoline. They have to figure out whether they should stick with the car or follow me. Suppose I don't come back and they're staying with the car. <laughs> or if I fly on the airplanes. I could fly half fare because I'm 12 to 22. And they got to pay the full fare. <laughs> but, well, no, but the thing is that when you pay the full fare, you have to get on the airplane first so that they know how many seats are left over for the half fare kids. Right? And sometimes there aren't any seats left over, and sometimes there are, but that doesn't mean that you have to go. <laughs> right? so, well, suppose, suppose that he gets on and fills up the last seat. So you can't get on, then he gets off, then you can get on. Right? Then what's he gonna do? Well, well, it's a drag for him. But that's not, that's not why I want to dedicate the song to the FBI. During, during these hard days and hard weeks, everybody always has it bad once in a while, you know. You, you have a bad time of it. And you always have a friend that says, hey man, you ain't got it that bad. Look at that guy. And you look at that guy, and he's got it worse than you. And it makes you feel better that there's somebody that's got it worse than you. But well, think of the last guy. <laughs> For one minute, think of the last guy. Nobody's got it worse than that guy. <laughs> Nobody in the whole world. That guy, he's so alone in the world that he doesn't even have a street to lay in for a truck to run him over. <laughs> He's out there with nothing. Nothing's happening for that cat. And all that he has to do to create a little excitement in his own life is to bum a dime from somewhere. Call up the FBI. Say, FBI? They say yes. See, I dig Uncle Ho and Chairman Mao and their friends are coming over for dinner. <laughs> Hang up the phone. And within two minutes, and not two minutes from when he hangs up the phone, but two minutes from when he first put the dime in, <laughs> they got 30,000 feet of tape rolling. Files on tape, pictures, movies, dramas, actions on tape. But then they send out a half a million people all over the entire world, the globe, they find out all they can about this guy. Because there's a number of questions involved in this guy. I mean, if he was the last guy in the world, how did he get a dime to call the FBI? There are plenty of people that aren't the last guys that can't get dimes. He comes along and he gets a dime. I mean, if, if he had to bum a dime to call the FBI, how was he going to serve dinner for all those people? How could the last guy make dinner for all those people? <laughs> and if he could make dinner and was going to make dinner, then why did he call the FBI? And they find out all of those questions within two minutes. And that's a, that's a great thing about America. I mean, this is the only country in the world, I mean, well, it's, it's not the only country in the world that could find stuff out in two minutes, but it's the only country in the world that would take two minutes for that guy. Well, other countries would say, hey, he's the last guy, screw him, you know? But, 
But in America, there is no discrimination. And there is no hypocrisy, because they'll get anybody. And that's, that's a wonderful thing about America. And that's why tonight, I'd like to dedicate it to every FBI man in the audience. <laughs> well, I know, you can't say nothing, you know. You can't get up and say, hi, you know, because then everybody knows that you're an FBI man. That's a drag for you and your friends. They're not really your friends, are they? You know. I mean, so you can't get up and say nothing because otherwise you got to get sent back to the factory. And that's, that's a drag for you and it's an expense for the government. And that's a drag for you. <laughs> We're going to sing you this Christmas carol. It's for all you bastards out there in the audience tonight. It's called The Paws of Mr. Claus. <laughs> Why do you sit there so strange? Is it because you are beautiful? You must think you are deranged. Why do police guys beat on these guys? You must think Santa Claus weird He has long hair and a beard Giving his presents for free Why do bleak guys mess with these guys? Let's get Santa Claus caught Santa Claus has a red suit, he's a communist <laughs> And a beard and long hair must be a pacifist What's in the pipe that he's smoking? <laughs> Mr. Claus sneaks in your house at night He must be a dope fiend to put you up tight why do these guys beat on these guys? 